Good evening, everybody. The high school football season is rolling on, as are we here on the Friday Night Blitz in the Sports Zone. My name is Evan Fitzgerald. We have a fun night of football for you. We begin with Edgewater undefeated and now up to number seven overall in the Florida 7A AP High School Football Poll, which is pretty, pretty, pretty good, if I say so myself. District game tonight for Edgewater taking on Eastridge. First quarter, Eagles starting fast. Kobe Stribling. 18 yards, gets to the outside, turns it in. That's a touchdown, 7 0. Defense also dominating. Abdul Harmon, that's a sack. And then more Edgewater. RJ Harvey to Rashad Bowie, that's a touchdown, 14 0. Then Harvey looking for Stribling through the air, got him. Great throw, great catch, 21 0. And Edgewater wins it 49 3. Let's check out Bishop Moore taking on Centennial. Fans fired up. Second quarter. Hornets up 21 0. Genario Crankfield. That's one of my favorite names in football in the area. Some good running, too. 28 0. Later in the quarter, nice catch. Nice stiff arm. 34 0. Centennial, though, gets on the board here. Blaine Watkins hooks up with Cole Mistretta. Long touchdown, 34-7, but too much Bishop Moore tonight. 42-13, the final there. Oviedo looking for its first district win since 2014. Taking on Lake Brantley, district title that is. Demarius Good takes the give, 40 yards for touchdown. And Oviedo answers with this. Morgan Mitchell, watch the throw to Chris Martinez. He's going to take it 25 yards. They just couldn't tackle him there on the edge. That's a touchdown. Later, Anthony Williams takes the handoff, runs everybody away. 75-yard touchdown. What a comeback. Oviedo, 44-42, and wins the district title. Well, kind of a beat Orlando University 61-7 the last time these two met up. And they were on it from the opening kickoff tonight, taken by Wakaiva's Terrence Moore. And here he goes. Couple of moves, and he is gone. 70 yard touchdown. And it's 7 0 Wakaiva, 20 seconds into the game. Later in the first quarter, Wakaiva's Supreme Richardson, with a name like that, you know he's going to end up in the end zone. 14 0. One more in the first quarter. That's Larry Preston firing at Jalen Williams. Uh, they didn't get 60 points tonight, but Wakaiba does win it 41 to nothing. Seminole hasn't allowed 20 points in a game all year. Has pitched three straight shutouts. Take a look at Winter Springs, though. Aaron Rodriguez takes care of that from the seven. Winter Park or Winter Springs, excuse me, on the board. Seminole not phased. Javari Frederick takes the handoff for eight yards. That's a good play because it's going to set up Tyreek Swain. Watch this. Takes the direct snap coming across the formation, and here he goes. Finishes it off for the score. Seminole wins it 28 to 14. Lake Mary quarterback Gunnar Smith has 15 touchdowns entering tonight's game with the University. Hands off here, though. Sean Rubio, 21 0 is the score at that point. University's Ethan Lasher trying to find some offense. Gonna go deep, though, and gonna be picked. Colin Cabell has it coming the other way. And look at this catch by Soraya Abrams. Taps it to himself. Beautiful and sets up another beauty. Pedro Rodriguez, fingertip catch. Tiptoe all Lake Mary, 42 to nothing. Winter Park at Boone, and Winter Park wins its third straight district title. 38-3 is the final there. Dr. Phillips wins its 11th straight district title. The defending 8A state champs beat Boone 44-13 for their 43rd straight district win. Up next, it's our favorite part of the show. It's the game of the week. We'll head out to Windermere as they take on Liberty, and Eric Klinkscales is there. He's got it for us. Coming up next. Welcome back, everybody. Game of the week time. Liberty's won four in a row. Windermere struggled last week versus Harmony. Liberty on the punt, and that's not good. Ball's down in the short field. Windermere takes advantage. Isaiah Jackson takes it in from a yard out. 6 0. Here comes Liberty, though, and specifically quarterback Jalen Ray. Take a look. Keeps it, which is a very good idea because he's going to take it all the way in for the score. And then later, does this look familiar? It should. It's kind of coming in the opposite direction, but same results. Another touchdown on the keeper. Liberty wins 44-23, and here's our guy, Eric Klinkscales. Liberty and Windermere battled to a tie at the half, but the Chargers from Kissimmee took control of this game in the second half, winning his fifth straight in the regular season. 
keeping its playoff hopes alive. We have to win them all. Uh, so the next opponent is Lake Nona. Uh, I'm sure we probably had a little bit of looking down the road, and that's part of the reason this game went the way it went. Uh, but we, we have to beat Lake Nona next week. Here's our uh, Fox 35 game of the week. Oh, I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you guys are the uh, Fox 35 game of the week winners. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. I uh, appreciate it. Eric Klinkscales, Fox 35 Sports.